Okay, weather, uh, aptitude, uh, southern hemisphere. I think we've a lot more sun over here. And um, where I was based when I played over there in, in Belfast, it's pretty miserable, wet and cold. Um, so I think weather wise, you'll have to choose South Africa. Um, stadium, I think again, I had a great time with Ulster. They've got loyal fans. It's a wonderful stadium. It's not a massive stadium like you'll get in South Africa, but the fans always come out. It's a great as atmosphere, always singing and, and uh, chanting. So um, yeah, I, I choose Ulster. Food. Um, I must say South Africa, I really enjoy. I think we've got a range uh, and variety in our food. And obviously a braai is always a nice, nice, uh, nice way to go when you want to have a nice barbecue and a nice braai in South Africa. So um, food, Southern Hemisphere. Training, I think again, Southern Hemisphere, like I said previously, the weather is pretty miserable over December, January, February in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, most of the time, especially in Bluefontaine, you've got good weather. It's great to train in. Um, yeah, you can play an expansive brand of rugby, so uh, Southern Hemisphere. Fans, uh, yeah, I think again I'll go with Northern Hemisphere. I think um, the way it is at the moment, I think the fans are really loyal and support their teams no matter what, no matter, no matter what the weather is like. Um, especially where I played in Ulster, you get a lot of good support. Um, come rain, hail, sunshine, they're there. Um, and like I said, always singing, always backing the team. Away trips, um, I must say I quite enjoy Italy. I think the food is all, always very good there. Um, it's always a tough challenge to go and play there, but I think the boys normally got stuck in the food there. It's pretty good. Yeah, in South Africa, you've got your local derbies so against the Bulls and the Sharks and the Stormers, which is also always a really big, a big one. And the same uh, when I played in Northern, Northern Hemisphere with Ulster, normally the, the four provinces that compete for bragging rights. Uh, so for us, it was always Leinster, Munster and, and Connacht. So um, those local derby games are always tough. I think again, it's. Uh, I think you probably got a bit more flexibility in South Africa, especially in Bloemfontein. I think you can go hunting, uh, play golf, uh, fishing, all of those things. Where I think more than MSP, you're pretty limited just for some period of, of time during the year. Um, yeah, because winters are pretty miserable and you don't spend too much time in the outdoors, so um, definitely southern, uh, southern Hemisphere. I think again, coaches is a tough one. I think it's different conditions, I think different ways of playing. Um, so yeah, it's a tough one. I think you sort of got to adapt, especially for us traveling up there now. We'll have to be able to adapt, so um, yeah, I think it's a tough job. It's not an easy one, so I'll split there again and go 50-50 on both of them. Um, yeah, refereeing is a tough one to ask a number nine. We don't always agree with their calls, but um, uh, I think at the moment probably Northern Hemisphere. I think they've got most of the of the refs um, in the IRB panel. We've got Yaku Paper, I think, at the moment. Um, so I think their standards at this stage probably a lot better.